For the Sun Times, this is Michael Jackson. The seventh Umbrella Festival of Jazz and Improv kicked off last week with eight concerts at Chicago Cultural Center. First timers may have been nonplussed by the non traditional approach of trumpeter Axel Döner. In the company of cellist Fred Longberg Holm and percussionist Michael Zarang, Döner explored a gamut of subtle airflow shifts through his horn. Later, Lithuanian saxophonist Dovidas Stalmokas joined with cornetist Josh Berman, bassist Kent Kessler and drummer Tim Daisy for the first time, though you would scarcely know it. Asking Daisy after the show how long he had known Stalmokas, he replied, I haven't met him yet. Those unfamiliar with the instant alchemy of improv might find this preposterous given Stalmokas' rapport with Berman, since they knit together like Ornett Coleman and Don Cherry. Well, almost. Supergroup Tar Baby, who have been together since 2006, headlined Friday night at Constellation, an important new music venue secreted under a flyover on Western Avenue. Bassist Eric Revis led off with an aggressively abstract foray, as if to counterweight his rep as swinging anchor for Branford Marsalis. During one piece, he, pianist Orin Marshall and drummer Nashik Waits all shouted, Oh! simultaneously, as if to quell suspicions they weren't on the same page. Carefully planned by organisers Mike Reed, Mitch Kukani, Berman and Dave Rempis, each umbrella bill is selected for contrast. On baritone sax, Rempis threw down with guitarist David Stakanas and electronic specialist Brian Labich. Trumpeters abounded this year. Parisian Americ Evis played two horns at once. Baltimore-based Jamie Branch demoed the art of ultra-relaxed embouchure backed by whip-crack drummer Wolfgang Reisinger. Milwaukee's Russ Johnson, a prolific composer with a tightly controlled trumpet technique, was superb, his only failing a reluctance to title tunes. Star of the show and artist-in-residence was Dutchman Eric Buren, who, with compatriot bassist Wilbert de Jode, performed with saxist Michael Moore and drum legend Han Benink. Benink, as much performance artist as world-class percussionist, habitually hijacks, toppling snare and hi-hat, preferring to sit on the floor and thrum the stage with sticks. Despite such antics, his agile brushes usually steer and control with uncanny precision, but he proved somewhat over-refreshed from a pre-gig reception. Though the rest of the band felt compromised, Benink's tomfoolery set in relief gorgeous interplay, between Beren, de Jurde and Moore. The latter, a brilliant chameleon, requisitely channeled on at Coleman, since this group play a preponderance of Coleman material. Other highlights, a rare solo set from organist Amina Claudine Myers, with an Annette assembled to interpret Beren's Ellington arrangements. The one-off group boasted Ken Vandermark on baritone, forceful lead clarinet from James Falzoni, Erudite tenor saxist Cameron Fifner, outstanding NYC-based altoist Greg Ward, and trombonist Nick Brosty. Burns' reimaginings of Ellington's Shakespeare suite, Such Sweet Thunder, alternated with crowd pleasers Rockin' in Rhythm and Cottontail. A rousing finale to reward the loyal core and win over fresh new music fans. <laughs>